Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to be doing some press on nails and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do some really easy designs. So right now I'm just basically fitting the nails to my nail and of course I got these clear nails from Amazon. I'm using these self adhesive hooks that I got from the Dollar Tree. And the cool thing about these is they have the sticky thing on the back that's like Kind of like, I don't know how to describe it, but it's like sticky. So I take that off of the back. And what you're going to see me do is basically wrap it around the hook part. And this is going to be great because it's going to serve as something that your nails can stick to. And they're only a dollar and you get six. You can get two packs, but I only got one because I wasn't sure how it was going to work out. And then you just stick your nail up there. You can't really see it. I apologize for that, you guys. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so I'm sticking the nail up there to get the nail ready to paint. So I'm using this polish, I absolutely love this polish. It's a gel polish and the polish is from Walmart and it's by LA Colors. And it's such a nice color. And one thing that I like to do when I'm painting my nails is I like to start from the bottom and make my way to, start from the top of the nail and make my way down to the bottom. I've watched people paint my nails and do that and it works out so great. Once I paint the nail, I'm going to let the nail dry and, dry, and we're going to move on to the next step.
Okay guys, so now I am taking this brush and I'm sticking, I stuck some nail glue into the brush, well the end of the brush, and that's how I'm picking up the gems and I'm placing them on the nail. I painted the nail with some nail polish, but the nail polish alone doesn't allow the gems to stick. So you'll see later on that I start to put nail glue and then put the gems on. And I'm just carefully placing the gems. I've already placed some nail glue onto the nail. And I'm just carefully placing them, taking the other end of the brush to kind of move them around the way I want. Because we want that clear nail look with the gems up there. I think that is so cute. And we're complete. This is the nail. It's nice and sparkly, nice and pretty. And I do put a coat of clear polish over it. So now we are going to do cow designs. It's gonna be so cute, you guys. So I'm using this Art Deco uh, nail polish brush. I'm just I just bought this so I can use a brush because I don't have a nail art brush. So I'm gonna wipe it off and I'm gonna use uh, the pink to put the stripe on, and then you'll see how we get the spots. Okay guys, so I'm using some black nail polish that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'm sticking a bobby pin in it and I'm using that as a dotting tool. And I'm going to just basically, as I make the cow print, I'm gonna kind of move the bobby pin a little bit around to make these irregular dots and make it look like a cow print. I think this looks so cute with the pink, like it's just so stinking. You, I'm obsessed with these nails, they're so pretty.
And now I'm going in with my absolute favorite clear polish. And this is by Revlon. It's like a gel-like polish. It makes your nails look like they're gel even when they're not. It's a top shine and it's one of the best. It's a little pricey. I think it's like $7. But you'll always see this in my nail videos. If you watch my feet videos, I know you saw it. It's such a good buy. Worth the investment. And we are finished with our cow print nails. Aren't they so cute? I am absolutely in love with them. And that's it, that's the finished product. I did add a glitter nail. If you guys wanna know how to do that, let me know. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Bye y'all.